Hey guys, welcome back. I am excited to share day two of my amazing hiking trip, all women's hiking trip in the Tetons. And day two was awesome. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, do whatever you need to do. Got my love and protect your parks mug, coffee, and here we go. Okay, so day two, if you have not caught up, basically it started with the fact that we all woke up and we all discussed how we had kind of encountered a bear in the night and that was wild. It was a great story for this whole trip. It was a great story to bring home and tell our spouses and our friends and our family. So good morning, everyone. We had our first night of camp and it was a wild one. I could not sleep very well. Actually, a bunch of us could not sleep very well, but the craziest thing happened. So last night I was like laying in, in my tent and I was, I, I thought it was like nerves just because it was my first night camping out, but I started hearing things and I'm like, oh my God, there's a bear outside of my tent. And I didn't say anything to anybody. I didn't wake anybody up, but I could hear it like walking and then sniffing my tent and then walked to the girl next to me and sniffed her tent. And then that was it. And then I heard like deer walking through the night and then some other like little animals. But I woke up in the morning and everyone's like, how did everybody sleep? And I'm like, well, I think a bear came through our campsite and four other girls go, we heard it too. I'm not even kidding you. Four other girls heard the bear come through the campsite and we all had the same reaction. Like, I don't want to wake anybody up. I don't want to freak them out. I don't want to like make them nervous or anything like that. But we did, we had a bear that came through the site and there was a spot by one of the girls that was camping and the bear had like dug up. Like there's like a big area where it had dug up and um, like three feet from her tent. And we survived it. <laughs> I know that sounds dramatic, but it was definitely scary. So we all had breakfast and, you know, sat around for a little bit and then we Honestly, we packed up pretty quick, got ready to go, pulled our stuff from the bear box, and everyone did their bathroom stuff and did whatever they needed to do, and we were off. The second day was straight up again. Most of the hike, the first two days were pretty much straight up, but the second day was a very exciting day because we started to get into kind of a new terrain. It became much more rocky. There was a lot more open, I guess you would say plains, and we were getting up into the top area of the of the mountains and it was absolutely stunning so this is holly lake and it's really beautiful at the top of a mountain, it still blows my mind. Oh, this is an amazing view. I know, it's stunning. Honestly, this is absolutely gonna be pretty. The of this hike is very uphill. Um, it's much more strenuous than the one we did yesterday, and yesterday was incredibly strenuous. But it's only two miles up. And then we have four miles that are pretty much downhill. And then our final day, we're doing like nine and a half miles. But the views have been incredible. And we're really taking our time today just because we had, no one's ever done the hike that we did yesterday. So, it's been pretty amazing. You should definitely get out here and do this. The weather couldn't have been more perfect. The scenery couldn't have been more perfect. The group of women couldn't have been more perfect. And it just like, it blew my mind. So the first couple of miles, we were hiking up this beautiful train. It was just green, there was wildflowers everywhere. And we kind of had this moment of where we stopped and we took a break and we were kind of discussing what we were gonna be going into next because we didn't really even know what we were going into next until we visually saw it and got to that point. There was a point where we were about to get to the peak of the mountain. We were about to go over to the ridge. And so we had to hike up this kind of very rocky, very interesting, kind of, you know, not super stable terrain. Can you see where, um... Wow. Christy is. I think the trail is up. Yeah. Up the mountain. 
Well, you see how there's a little. I think we're about right to ascend it. now. Okay. Like we're about to do. Holy. We're scrambling a little. We're okay. hard work. I didn't think we were scrambling. It looks a little scrambling. Well, we might. We had a hike through snow, which I'm going to be really honest with you, it was a little bit intimidating to me because we went through the snow and then it was kind of like a drop off. And I think I was just very nervous with that. Everything else I was fine with, but for some reason the snow and the drop off really made me nervous. But we all got past it. We all got through. We all like supported each other and we're like so proud of each other. It was just, it was a great experience going through that. Oh my God. How amazing. Good job, girls. Crazy. Guys, we're gonna do a peak. We're about to go ascend a peak. Woo! We're going over a mountain. Once we got past the snow is when we had a much more treacherous hike. And as you can see, it was like straight up in all boulders, all rocks. It was intense. And I think that this moment really tested a lot of women. Okay, we're getting to the end of the hiking straight up. And we have to go like straight up there, which is crazy. Um, but we can do it. It's just slightly intimidating. Ever so slightly. Just a little intimidating. Just a little bit. It's just a fine. little bit. Just don't look down. <laughs> That's the rule. Don't look down. Good job, girls. We'd have to stop every 10, every 10 feet it almost felt like because it was so intense and like straight up it was probably the most intense part for me of the entire hike i think it was for a lot of women as well because it was just you know you're you got the sun beaming down on you you have this unstable kind of ground and you're you're on the edge of a mountain and honestly a lot of this footage i feel like does not even do justice for what we did we hiked up the side of this mountain and it was just every step of the way we would stop and we would like look over and look at what we had done and it was so cool it was just so beautiful every step of the way there's something new to see and it was even more breathtaking so it took us i want to say like an hour or so to get up this i want to say like an hour to get up this area of the mountain that wasn't i want to say maybe it was a half a mile maybe to get up from where we ended at the snow and then we went up the mountain because it was a lot of switchbacks, which my women that were on this trip would be so proud of me that I know that now. So there's a lot of switchbacks on this portion of the hike. We all kind of took our time. Again, there was like a head person and then there was somebody who was in the back making sure that everyone got to our final destination safely. And then after all of that hiking, after all of that, like that day that was so tough and it was a lot of hours of just going straight up, we were all so exhausted. We finally got to the ridge and it was incredible. Well guys, we made it to the peak. We did it. We did it. This hike was, it was a sad song. I think we're too tired, <laughs> but we made it to the peak and it is insane. Like I can't even explain to you how physically challenging that was. Mentally it kind of gets with you, uh, messes with you, but it was unbelievable. We did it and I'm so proud of this whole group. It's, we keep saying like, we couldn't have done it with a better group. Like th this group of women that are on this hike are just so incredible. I mean, look at this. Okay, just to give you reference of where we were, see those fields over there? We started all the way down there. All the way down there, we made all the way up here. We're over 10,000 feet and we are at the top of the Tisons. And I never thought I would be here. I told you guys a couple of years ago, all I wanted to do was go to the Tetons, and now I hiked it. Or I hiked at least one peak. That's amazing. It's just like the most rewarding thing ever. I could cry. It's so cool.
Now getting to this point, it was such a pivotal moment for me. I getting to the top of that ridge and like standing next to this sign that said 10,700 feet. I mean like the elevation that we did for our climb was, it was astronomical. Like go, we went straight up. Whereas our hike that we were originally gonna do was like very like mellow and then slowly would go up. This one went whoo, straight up the whole time, the first two days. We got to the top and we're all having lunch and we're all just kind of like looking around like, holy crap, we did this. Like we hiked this hike, we got to the top of this mountain. And the amount of people that we saw that saw what we had to do literally turned back. Like there was a group of like 15, 20 people that were kind of behind us and they literally stopped and turned around and went back because they did not want to do it. So the fact that we all got up there and we all made it to the top, it was such a, like a beautiful moment and it was almost hard for me personally to like take it in because it's just you're kind of like blown away that you do it you know that that's the purpose of this like is to like to reach these certain points but like when you actually do it it just oh my gosh it's like the craziest feeling in the world you feel such a an amazing sense of accomplishment but it's for me it was more like a rush of just pure joy i almost had like it was an outer body experience for me where i just like i felt i felt lighter i felt i don't know i almost felt like my body was glowing because i was just so enamored by the fact that we one did this but two like the beauty that surrounded us being part of that beauty in that moment was just it was amazing it was so amazing i loved it so after we sat around for a while and we like ate lunch and just kind of really took in the experience we started hiking down the other side of the mountain which was absolutely stunning it continued to get more and more stunning I've never been to the tetons this is your you need to go like you need to go it's, it is the most beautiful mountain range ever so we started hiking down the other side of the mountain and that again was a little bit of a rocky train and then it slowly turned into you know a lot of green we saw a couple glacier lakes and then that was like our ending point was getting down to this beautiful glacier lake our reward was all of us going into this lake. Now, I don't think I was prepared as a Florida girl to really understand how cold this water was. I was like, I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna dunk under, I can do this. And then I made the stupid mistake, I put my toe in first. It just needs to run and jump in, but it could not do that. It's breathing! <laughs> Callie lied to me, Callie lied to me! If you try to do what I did, you just kind of slip and slowly fall. Okay. I did slip on that rock. So just kind of like, yeah. Come on, Ellie! Go, Nellie! 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 Go,
calm down with us because he was so ill he was throwing up he literally had i want to say he had heat exhaustion or he was having a heat stroke or on on the brink of it we knew that our campsite was very close to this glacier lake that we were kind of rinsing off in and we had been sit with us when we were having lunch and everything like that someone contacted the park ranger to kind of let him know what was going on and how there was this gentleman who was experiencing a heat stroke we had our walkie talkies and we were able to kind of let others know we have this guy and we're going to be we think he needs to come down with us we spoke with his family that was all hiking with him it's it was complicated basically his family split up so one group of his family went all the way up to the top and he was stuck back with his brother so his brother had to hike up to his family let them know that Ben was doing really bad and he was gonna come down with us. So he had to go get them to hike back down the mountain. So basically what happened is we brought him back to our campsite. We weren't really sure what was going on and everything. A lot of people are probably like, that's so dangerous. I would never do that. We as a group of 10 women felt comfortable enough to bring him down. He was a very nice guy. He was very kind. And honestly, the park ranger came to our site and the family finally hiked down. And it was kind of like a weird situation because the family there was a couple people within that family that were treating the situation with him very negatively. And the park ranger was like, you know, this is your, your family. You need to work around him, not the other way around. The park ranger said, if you guys are comfortable, I think that Ben should stay with you guys. Um, I don't think he needs to be hiking anymore. I will, I will come in the morning and check on you. So he ended up spending the night with us. We kind of took care of him. And he went to bed pretty early. And then we had the opportunity to kind of have dinner and experience the beautiful sunset. And it was amazing. I would go into more detail about the whole Ben situation, but honestly, I feel like that's a totally different video. Um, and honestly, it's one of those things that I think the family learned a lot and he was in the best hands ever being with a group of 10 moms because we all took care of him. End of the second day was so interesting because it was like we had this crazy hike going up, crazy hike going down. We saved somebody. Our second campsite was absolutely stunning. We got to reap the benefits and reap the rewards by sitting and watching this stunning sunset. I feel like the second day is when all of the women really, really got to know one another and really connected and we laughed and we cried and we all had a lot of like shared emotions and shared experiences in that time frame. And we had fun and we were doing silly things and talking about silly things. And I think a lot of us too, at that end of that day, cause it was such an intense day, we were so tired that like we knew we were all gonna sleep perfectly. The second day may have been the most challenging day for me and also the most rewarding day for me. I don't know, it came with a lot of a lot of interesting moments, you know, unplanned moments. I think that's what made the hike so much more beautiful and so much more. I don't know, it was just, uh, it was amazing. So that's the end of day two and I feel like there's probably a lot I missed but I'm trying to show you visually more than I can tell you about it. That's the end of day two. If you haven't caught up on day one, make sure you go watch that video, watch this video and tomorrow you're gonna see day three which is our day of hiking out of the Tetons and let me tell you what, it was the craziest day of all of the days. All right guys, I will see you tomorrow for day three of my Teton hike with the most amazing group of women. All right, see you tomorrow.